Hello. It's Friday, so this must be the Wisdom Factory. Uh, that's usually when we host these hangouts on air, and uh, t tonight is no exception. But what is exceptional is that we have four people with us in addition to the two of us, Heidi and Mark, your hosts. And uh, uh, we're going to uh, have a very international discussion about problems in the Middle East and, of course, how that affects Europe and America and other places around the world because this violence is busting out all over. Uh, but we want to start by uh, introducing our guest, and I'm going to ask each in turn to say a few words about themselves. Uh, can we begin with uh, Said, for example? Yeah, <laughs> some of our uh, of our watchers already know Said yes. because he has been with us, I think, four times now. Four times? Fifth, I don't know. He should host us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'll say I feel uh, privileged and, and humbled to, to be invited back to, to speak so many times. Uh, my name is Said, and uh, I'm married to the person sitting next to me, Aza, and uh, Aza and I uh, work with uh, Dr. Beck, uh, uh, Dr. Don Beck, who was the original creator of the Spiral Dynamics Theory, which is based on um, uh, Claire Graves' uh, lifelong research. Uh, so Aza has worked with Dr. Beck uh, and uh, our there are two other guests, uh, Nafiz and uh, Neri, on the Build Palestine Initiative. And on my end, I uh, worked with uh, the Spiral Dynamics Theory and the Graves Framework to create my own uh, uh, framework. Uh, uh, and it, all it is is the application of the uh, Beck Graves model to macroeconomics. So I've created my own uh, theoretical framework called Memonomics and I've uh, published a book based on that. And, uh, you know, when, when you have an understanding of the value systems framework, as everybody here knows, uh, you, you tend to uh, have a different lens on the world. Uh, so uh, my expertise comes from the knowledge of value systems, uh, not necessarily the political aspect to, to what's happening in the Middle East. Uh, that is a complement to, to, to the value system. So, I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad. I'm looking forward to an engaging hour of uh, conversation and back and forth. Okay, thank, thank you. you, Saeed, the memonomics expert. We'll have some questions about that too, I think. And now, uh, Elsa, can you say a few words about yourself? Yes, um, um, I'm Lebanese American. Uh, I came, um, and I work with uh, Dr. Beck on the Bill Palestine Initiative. Um, um, what other things I can say? The author of Emerge. The author of, of Emerge, The Rise of Functional Democracy and the Future of the Middle East. Yes, indeed. This is your book. Can you show it? Yeah, can you hold yeah. it up so everyone can see that? Oh, we're talking, so it looks. No, uh, yeah, it now looks, we can. Oh, see. there we go. Oh, okay. That's a good Wonderful. one. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. And I think you're and being. Go ahead. It was endorsed uh, by Jim Houston, my good friend, um, uh, um, and Deepa Chopra. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, that's it about my background. And you are working. You're being so modest, Elsa. Yeah, really. You are working. So many things that could be said about you. Actively <laughs> in the field, so yeah. you are really having the big knowledge and expertise to our topic. Yeah. So I'm looking so I forward. Work, I work in different parts in the Middle East. Uh, I work uh, mostly uh, in Kuwait as a consultant. Uh, that's how I make my money. And mm -hmm. I spend it on the Build Palestine Initiative. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you spend it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, okay. Kuwait. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, now, thank you. All right. Thank you, Elsa. And uh, 
and now we want to move to people who are living in Israel or can I say occupied Palestine I don't know what, what is the correct term to use and I don't care okay <laughs> but anyway uh, first of all uh, from Israel I think uh, in Tel Aviv, or is it near Tel Aviv, Neri? Tel Aviv, in the center of Tel Aviv. Center of Tel Aviv. Right in the middle. <laughs> All right in the middle, very good. Tell us a bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm uh, Israeli. I studied uh, philosophy and economy, and uh, in uh, 2002, 2003, I started the Integral Israel uh, group. It started as a salon. And we end up uh, uh, suggesting and inviting uh, Don Beck and Elsa uh, to to work uh, here in Israel with the uh, uh, perspective of spiral dynamics. And uh, it started a very long uh, uh, project uh, that I'm very happy to support and be part of. I uh, today I work mainly with uh, grassroots groups, uh, helping them. Uh, 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 organized and uh, and build uh, their capacity to achieve uh, their goals and uh, spiral dynamics and, and integral perspectives are my uh, uh, I don't like to call it toolbox but this is how I, I look at reality in a way and uh, uh, you can call it uh, occupied Palestine or Israel we are all uh, live here in the territory and uh, we're looking to make it a better place and uh, as soon as possible uh, I think this is what, what we want to achieve in, in this project. Okay, thank you Neri. Wonderful, yeah. And uh, next is our guest from uh, Bethlehem and his name is Nafiz. Let me not butcher your last name, Rifaye, is that correct? You must unmute yourself now. Now you must unmute yourself, Nafiz. Yeah, I am uh, Nafiz Arifai from Bethlehem, from occupied Palestine. <laughs> I am under occupation. <laughs> and uh, I was arrested uh, from the occupation. I spent uh, many years of my life uh, trying to, to, get, uh, to get my freedom and the freedom of my uh, people also. And, uh, uh, I, I was in a workshop. I, I studied in Bethlehem University and I have uh, uh, a master degree in sustainable development uh, and uh, I am a writer, novelist and a poet. Uh, I try to find uh, an answer for the question uh, that would the Palestinian revolution uh, get the victory and uh, there would be a state and independence or etc. I met uh, some uh, man, an American, his name Tom Christensen. Uh, we were in a workshop and we went for an activity. Uh, then, he, then we discussed uh, many ideas and he told me about the spiral dynamics and about the integrity and uh, he, he, he told me uh, you can find the answer inside this theory. Uh, so I uh, tried to contact with uh, Don Buck and uh, finally I succeeded to contact with uh, marvelous Elza Malouf uh, and they came to Palestine and we arranged a session for a group uh, that they, uh, they uh, explain the spiral dynamics in, uh, which uh, put, put my mind, uh, open my mind a new window, how, how to think about the reason what's happening and about the solutions and then later we uh, we in, uh, we hosted them for many sessions five sessions uh, training uh, some Palestinian uh, how to deal with uh, this theory and to find in which value system we are 
And I, I think that now I can uh, analyze the situation through this point of view, through, through the value system, through, through this memes. So the, this what put me uh, to know what we should do and also to understand what's happening here. We are going back to the backward, to the tribe, the Palestinian and the Israelis to the radical, to the religious factions, radicals, settlers, and the Palestinian to the religious, radical, religious. So, so this is this is a value system. This is not. Uh, I I think through through the spiral dynamics that we can understand how's that happening and how we can get rid of it. How we can move forward not going backward. Uh, I am a novelist. I wrote three novels. Uh, it's about my dreams, about my vision, about my, what my philosophy of life and of uh, people also. It's a message also of peace and of thinking and uh, this is this is what Nafiz al rifai uh, I am a friend of Elza and her husband nice uh, Saeed and Neri, I hope that peace will be a bridge between me and him. Uh, even we are outside of the hatred and enmity, but I I think that our people need this peace, not just a person. Well, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that, Nafiz. Uh, and now that we have some idea of where each of us is coming from, I'd like to start <clears throat> with just a couple questions, more or less off the off the headlines very recently, because uh, we're uh, obviously, you know, in the West, the big news is is still what happens after Paris, after the bombings there, and not so much about what about the bombings in Lebanon, which I understand was ISIS attacking Hezbollah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would and have liked first, as to follow up with uh, Nafiz, to 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 explain to the listeners what these value systems are before oh, we go wanna, deeper into go because there, there might Fine. be people in the audience who have no idea what what it means value system. And I would invite Said to to briefly briefly talk about what it what it means and why uh, <laughs> Nafis said this is the solution. I mean. We who knows who know that we, we, we know the potential, but the other people mm -hmm. probably not. And so I think before we go into the real questions where we will talk about that, we need to know what it is, what, what the tool is, at least briefly. I usually defer to her judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, that is. Uh, This uh, what Elsa can uh, explain learn better than me, but I think the assistance that uh, it's it's uh, it's something you can behave according of the conscious uh, and the the conscious inside you, your mentality. Uh, so to be liberal, it means uh, you, you are looking to the things more with your mind, more than your feelings and your emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that the people coming back when they are feeling not secure, they are going back to the tribal in order to find secure, security. And, and the Palestinian, and at that time, let's speak about the Palestinian, then we can talk about the Arab and the Muslims. They are feeling no security to them by the Palestinian Authority. They, it, the Palestinian Authority cannot secure the Palestinian from being burned, from being killed, from being uh, tortured, from being demolished their homes, settlements, uh, checkpoints, etc. Many, many, many procedures uh, by the occupation oppressed on the Palestinian. And the people, they are frustrated from this authority and they consider this authority not leave 20 years of negotiation it led for more settlements for more uh, there is no stability no 
uh, no future, no business, no work, and the graduates unemployment. Uh, so the future for them uh, e equal something mystery and so this authority cannot help them. So they should go back to find another thing to help them. At the time they, they are not using their mind, they are going to use their feeling, uh, their, uh, uh, their primitive uh, feeling, something, uh, tell them that God can help you. But the God on earth, there is people of God, that the religious people, they are the, the, not the, especially, not, not the, the religious uh, who are re liberal and open mind, but the radicals, the mm. closed mind, that, that, then the people go back, go back in order to the tribe, to the, to the, uh, the value system. Yeah, yeah, the second value system. This is the tribe. Yeah. This, is, yeah. this is to go back. Try to get security. And what's happening on the Israeli society? That the, the liberals, they are staying in Tel Aviv. Outside of the wall, there is a wall between the West Bank, the occupied West Bank. Settlers now occupying the West Bank. And the liberals inside Tel Aviv, etc., they don't know what's happening. They are living their life and have jobs and uh, recreation, etc., but on the other side, the settlers, they are similar to the backward of the Palestinians. They are very radicals and believing in things. They should take things by force by, and be helped by the soldiers, by, by, etc. Uh, so, so, what's happening now, it's, it's uh, that the Palestinians try to find something to secure them, with frustration, with no hope, uh, they, they lose nothing. So, they believe that the future of 20, 20 years of negotiation of peace led to more settlements, not peace. So, they behave on the second meme of the spiral dynamics. This is and leading to violence, uh, revenge, uh, stabbing, uh, demolishing, t trying to secure themselves. It's, it's, they try to find a way. And the settlers, they use the power and the power of the, uh, of the Israeli government because most of the Israeli gov government are radical and uh, many Bennett and others and uh, as uh, one uh, he is living in uh, the settlements many of them they are living in the settlements they are uh, uh, most of the time uh, saying announcing that uh, the Palestinian uh, we should punish them more we should uh, do etc etc and th this is what what's happening here so if we want to move forward, not going back, go back, we should give the people more hope uh, and, and, and let the people to know that there is a future and there is a life for them and, there is, and they can, they can uh, of course I have many friends, they have initiatives, one of them, now they are looking for one state. They are saying, okay, you Israel is not going to give us Palestinian state, okay, we are now in one state, because the settlements, the Israeli government cannot move the settlers now. They are building more settlements, more settlements, more settlements between the Palestinians. And, and Netanyahu uh, idea is uh, isolated islands is the Palestinian state. It's uh, something uh, un 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 unbelievable. You cannot, uh, you cannot believe that so this isolated island is leading to a peace. Uh, I am working in the Palestinian Foreign Ministry and I see what's happening on the ground. That there is a settlement plan 
to divide the West Bank 43 isolated uh, areas uh, by putting uh, blocks of settlers on these areas and then to, 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 to make buffer zone between the Palestinian uh, big cities of settlers uh, this means th there is no social uh, co uh, social uh, development or economic development or even political uh, links between the people, contacts. So this demolishing the Palestinian state, two states here. And so the, their uh, initiative, okay, we are going something to similar of South Africa, apartheid one state, and then we will try to get our rights inside this apartheid. Yeah, and, and this something happened by the Israeli government on ground. It's not just you can hear Netanyahu. Okay, let's uh, stay and negotiate about peace, but they are doing nothing on on just sitting in hotels and uh, getting. Uh, yeah, and, uh, but, but they they are. The, in, in, in five stars hotels with the recreation and discussing what's happening on the ground, something very different. And that bulldozers all the time, day and night, they are working in building settlements. Mm -hmm. And this settlement destroying peace. Mm -hmm. And this peace and destroying also the hope. Mm -hmm. And the graduates and the unemployment of the Palestinians, etc. There is no hope. And so the people very suspicious about this Palestinian authority. So, so they try to find uh -huh. something to give them security. There is nothing. There is no hope. So they use their hands. And some of them, they said, we lose nothing. But, but of course, th this, is, this is what's happening. Even one of the people who... who, who, who uh, his name Baha Alayan. Uh, he he went on an Israeli pass and stabbed and killed Israelis. He has uh, he has wasiya wasiya shu shu ma uh, wasiya. Well, well. Well. Yeah. So he has a will. Yeah, yeah, something like this. Yeah, from ten points, ten advices that. He's saying, don't, the Palestinian uh, organization, don't say that I am one of you. This is a big message to the Palestinian Authority. I am not belonging of you to any party. So, and many of, the, of, the, of these guys, they are saying the same. So, the contact between the authority, with the organizations, with the political parties, now is being... Yeah, very weak, and some people is behaving without going back to Abu Mazen, to the authority, to the factions, even to Fatih to Hamas. They are no Fatih, not Hamas. Most of them they are behaving because they are they lost the hope. This is a value system, value system of thinking. This is this is what I what I when I try to find the answers of many questions at first to me, later to my people, and to the future of, 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 my, of my family and my friends and my people, and even to the Israelis. So let's see what we can do. We can explain, we can interpret, but later, what should we do? So what's, what's happening in Paris? This is also another thing that, that the people in the Arab world, in the spring of the Arab world, they are without, without liberal parties. Yes. And uh, the Muslims factions were encouraged by the United States, by, and they support them. They try to find them as an alternative power of the liberals. Yeah. So this led for more radicals. Exactly. The, this is this is they interfere of the Arab Spring, yeah. and this and Holland. He is very, very, very abusive man 
against the Syria. He destroyed Syria. He killed 200,000 people and more, one, two million, more than 2 million refugees in order to, to bring democracy. What, what about democracy? For the Arabs. Yeah. I, yeah. When we look to China, please, uh, yeah, I, I have a point of view. When we are looking to China, that all, they are the, the, the they are fourth of the, yeah, yeah, all of them, they are working without democracy. Syria was working and with peace, etc. In order to bring democracy, you can bring Daesh, and support Daesh, and support al-Nusra, and support al-Qaeda, and you weapon them, give them weapons, in order to kill and to destroy this, this regime, in order to bring democracy, and then, okay, what's happening now? The interfere of the Russians, in order to support the state, and this leading that most of Daesh and al-Qaeda to be thrown out, Syria, they should go back to Turkey and go to Europe. And what will happen? Daesh, in, in ISIS. Uh -huh. I understand. Uh, yeah, Mark, yeah, the, the reference, the reference of, that's the acronym, the Arabic acronym for ISIL is, uh, is Daesh. And, and what Nafis is saying is, is right on with what really started this spark of violence. It is our Western idea of one person, one vote, of democracy. Uh, well, in a, in a culture that is controlled by primarily uh, dictators who have repressed uh, the, 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 the people who want to express themselves, when you let go of that structure that is kept red in check, uh, red is going to rebel. It has contained all that rebellion within it for decades. It's going to rebel. One person, one vote uh, got, uh, Nafis, this is you, one person, one vote got us Hamas in, in Gaza, you know, based on George Bush's dog. One person, one vote got us the, the Shia government in Baghdad that allowed all these things to happen. The Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. That, that allowed ISIS to resurface as a revenge for the U.S. for, for allowing the one person, one vote and the, and, and the Shia religious radicals to take over the, the Iraqi government. So one person, one vote doesn't work for the Middle East. Yeah. So what I, I would, understand... Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to add a little okay. thing for that because uh, uh, because it's not uh, simple. Uh, um, uh, Israel actually created the Palestinian Authority and actually uh, the Fatah rule is uh, because uh, Israel is supporting it. And it's not ruling by uh, democracy. Uh, the, there was no election for quite some time, uh, and so it's not any leader that is there. It needs some special qualities, and it's very uh, hard to find those uh, leadership that can take responsibility for the development of the Palestinian people and uh, the Syrian people, of course, as well. And, and we can talk about Lebanon. But uh, if we focus on, 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 on Palestine, it's, still, it's clear that the current uh, uh, leadership is not serving the Palestinian cause and the people are ending up without security. And uh, uh, the way those good leadership, the guys that can deal with Israel, that can lead the Palestinian development, are still not seen. I don't, I don't see them yet. That's, yeah. that's my note. So yeah, so it's it's the, uh, the the bloody dance of the two value systems, you know, mm -hmm. one reacting to the other instead of looking at a superordinate goal in the future that says, hey, we can both work towards that, and here's number one, here's what we need to do to strengthen our position towards that goal, and here's what we need to do towards that goal, and you don't see a lot of that happening. If if I get what mm -hmm. uh, what both of you, Nafis and Mary, are saying is that they're, they're dealing with immediate reactive reality. Can I interfere a little bit because we have the audience here and there are some comments. There is Aslin, I will bring that up. And she says, the Israeli divide and conquer method is certainly working. Do you really see this changing? I don't. 
the Israelis certainly aren't going to change a winning formula. It would take a radical shift in mentality and government for that. Who wants to answer to that? Do you want to answer that? Yeah, that's for you, Neri. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you, Neri. Lucky you. <laughs> well, um, Israel has uh, a strong and, and, uh, and, and successful system and it's managed to control the situation. Uh, uh, it's actually managed uh, by the, the way to uh, reduce the power uh, uh, of uh, Fatah and Hamas. And uh, although they can uh, harm us a little bit, uh, uh, when they do this, we know how to handle them with force. Uh, the current uh, 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 violent that uh, uh, Nafiz was describing, where people uh, active their uh, red element, which means they see themselves are fighting evil Israel and going and take the decision and stop and do those things, as, as awful as those things, that it creates some kind of fear and uncomfort in the Israeli society. And it's it's have some tendency to push uh, 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 settlers' uh, uh, support a little bit lower, although it's not stable. It's like a wave, because it also give the the settlers claims. Now we need more force. Now we need uh, uh, more uh, dynamic. So uh, uh, Israel clearly need the uh, uh, need a change, and uh, uh, we need to. To look at the uh, world like Europe and the uh, United States uh, uh, and their influence on, on uh, the Israel dynamic, um, uh, it's like I'm, I'm always optimistic. Like I, I think that uh, people are wise and I think Israel will find the path uh, for, for better managing and enabling the Palestinian development. But uh, uh, right now, we, we're going to see this kind of uh, violent waves and quiet uh, where we, we need to seek uh, how to, to enable the Palestinians to develop their capacities um, uh, to self-rule, to develop their economy and, and uh, the li livelihood. Okay. Well, I, I want to make sure that I understand a couple things here. It sounds like, uh, in a way, disaffected Palestinian uh, factions are reflecting uh, the, the rejection of current political boundaries and systems just like ISIS is doing with virtually every national boundary that exists in the Middle East. So uh, a pox on everybody's house so to speak, you know, and, they're, and they want to uh, uh, go back to something uh, uh, more primitive but much more passionate. Uh, and it sounds like uh, these stabbings of Israeli citizens uh, by radical Palestinian youth, I would think, uh, is, is a way that forces divisions to open up within Israeli society with some moderates wanting to uh, oppose more settlement and the settlers wanting to be even tougher. Is, is this well, correct? The, the Palestinians have nothing to lose. Uh, they, they're, uh, they're highly educated with, uh, with degrees in psychology and uh, BA in uh, ec economy. Uh, they have nothing to lose. They have no jobs. Yeah. They have no jobs, uh, no work, um, um, Nafis can speak uh, of that. Yeah, and I think what's important is what Nafis uh, mentioned earlier is the fact that these kids, you know, they they had a manifesto. The ones who, who were stabbing Israelis, they had a, a you know a will or a manifesto on them that says, uh, uh, "Don't uh, affiliate me with Hamas or Fatah." Uh, when 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 situations reach that level of desperation. Uh, there, there, there's something uh, that's very wrong with the basic structure of culture. And that's what really needs to be addressed. What I ask here at this point, is it uh, transportable to what is happening now here in Europe with these uh, attacks and so on? Is it the same uh, background of desperation? We have nothing to lose, or is it different? 
I, I would like to say something that this, the wave is coming as a result, not because it's happened and the Israelis uh, made procedures help the settlers. They started with the settlers all the time. And even the Palestinian uh, leadership, uh, the Israelis, uh, after assassinated uh, Rabin, most of the leaders of the Israelis, they are uh, behaving with the Palestinian, not helping them for developing. Uh, sorry, Neri. The corruption is also made by the Israelis with some agents of the Palestinians. Absolutely. So there is no, no development under occupation. The checkpoints and the demolitions and the sanctions and the uh, confiscating and destroying the factories. Uh, what, what development will happen under occupation? There is no development under occupation. That occupation means there is no development. There is no... The, 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 that uh, 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 violating the freedom, every, every kind of life. And the leadership, which, what leadership would you like? Okay, release Marwan al barghouti now and make with him a historical peace. You are not going to do it. And even Abbas, you all the time saying that he is very weak. He is very weak. And he destroyed the Palestinian society. And he helping the Israelis. He all the time working what the Israelis saying. Yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. And he's, uh, he's against violin, uh, viol viol uh, violence. But now, at that time, he cannot behave stopping the, this wave. This wave, I don't know when it will be ended. That he cannot, because he, he, they are not belonging to the political parties. This is what's happening. Not because he, he doesn't want. He cannot, and the Israelis cannot, because we cannot predict who will go to, to, to do this, what, what's happening, that any Palestinian on checkpoint to just move his hand, he's being shot. There is no secure. I cross, I'm being very afraid that I am being all the time putting my hands like this in order to see my hands, because if I move, my hand like that, I may be shot. You don't know what's happening to the Palestinian at this time. So this wave, wave of revenge, wave of revolution, I don't, I don't know what exactly the name of it, but it's wave of that the people is desperate that. and nothing, nothing, nothing to lose. This is, yeah. this is what's happening. And the Israel is giving no hope. What leadership? What development, what employment, what, what, what's happening? This leads for more violence. I, 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 I can just analyze this. This is not my feelings. This is my spiral dynamics. This leads yeah. to that. I just, so is, I just want to comment, I just want to there, comment there, that. There needs that. to be a different type of intelligence on both sides, both yeah. the Palestinians and the Israelis. And oh. the sense that I get, is that maybe the uh, the Palestinians, like like you said, Marwan al Barghouti, will be a new expression of Palestinian values. Uh, from what I understand, is that he's been in Israeli prisons. He's he's really done the the, the Palestinian hero's journey that everybody respects him, and uh, he speaks Hebrew fluently. So he he might be the person who can bridge those those differences between. Uh, uh, between the two states, and maybe an area on your end, uh, there is uh, uh, maybe uh, a, uh, a hunger for, for, for a new form of leadership in government. Uh, maybe not yeah, yeah, fully exactly. liberal to the right, to the left, but maybe someone uh, moderate with, uh, with appreciation for, for, for a final settlement, be it, like Nafis says, an apartheid system that might not work as well, or a two-state solution. Uh, Elza and I have been to a lot of uh, the, uh, is it the J, uh, J Street uh, uh, activists in a lot of universities here. Uh, they're beginning to advocate for a two-state solution. And at this stage, they're just looking to, to save the state of Israel. So, to, so they're not necessarily looking 
to uh, for 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 a partnership with the Palestinians, but they want to establish Israel as a state by itself, and that that seems to be uh, 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 setting in as a goal in the Jewish diaspora here in the states. Is that let's mm -hmm. pursue the two-state solution, not for the sake of peace, but for the sake of preservation of the Israeli state, mm -hmm. and if. And if that needs to be the solution in order for the Palestinians to, to wake up and say, we need to build our own capacity. We need to shift from being a distributed red system that attacks everything with poor leadership to a place where, okay, we need to build a nation. How do we do it? They need someone... I want to... Sorry? I, it's like I want to, to remake to that. Uh, I, I will relate to, to the uh, Europa and Paris later. But first, uh, I agree with Nafiz. Uh, uh, right now, the Palestinians cannot develop, and Israel is holding them down. They're not letting them develop, and this is one of the deadlocks. And the Israelis are not aware of what they are doing. They are not. They are, they are think, they, they say, telling themselves, "We don't have no one to talk with," but they are not aware that when they signal to the Palestinian with. The, 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 the government with settlers, they signal the Palestinians, you will not have a state. So what do you want them to expect? This is the reality. I see in Israel a potential change, but it takes time. It's have its uh, 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 democratic system uh, with its uh, good parts and bad parts. Uh, I'm hopeful that, that, that those ideas will emerge. And I, I feel that there is criticism and there is an effort to change uh, the Israel behavior, and I hope uh, with Nafil that we'll see it in our lives, these uh, changes. Um, uh, but it is a, a dance of the two, and the chain in Israel is critical. And uh, while we, we have this uh, 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 settler uh, ideology dominance, and, and thinking that uh, we can have a state and we'll control the Palestinians, or convince them to go to Jordan, this is settler's ideas, uh, uh, or some of them will say, uh, we trust God, uh, let everybody vote, and God will uh, make everything okay. Those kind of ideas I hear from the settlers. Uh, uh, I think that... That's, that's also, one guy that we shouldn't listen to, is God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but I think that, that not only we need to, pre to preserve uh, 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 Israel, as Israeli things, we also need to protect Palestine, and this is uh, come to uh, mimonomics. Uh, if we put the Palestinian people in Israel economically, the, the Israeli will, I'll use the bad word, will enslave them one way or another. They use them as cheap work. Uh, yes. uh, they, 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 they keep them in some kind of poverty. Uh, uh, so uh, it's like we'll have our Arabs, whatever we call them, but we'll not uh, let them to get to power. We will show you few successful Arabs, but most of the population will not have potential for independence. And this is why I think separation is impo important, uh, and I'm, I think that first we need to draw a borderline and say, signal to the Palestinians, you will have a state. Uh, I don't know if we like uh, in Gaza will uh, go away, it will end up good. But as uh, steps to forward, we need to have some kind of Israel signal the Palestinian that there is a future for the Palestinian people, and this is not reality. This is not what we, we are Israel signaling now. And uh, uh, hopefully I think this is something that we need uh, 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 or try uh, uh, to help the Israel leadership and the Israeli activists to understand uh, uh, what they are, what they are doing, I uh, uh, if if we want to discuss this more, we can because I have some comments for uh, a Heidi question about the relation of Europe and uh, and, and and Palestine, uh, uh, and this is like I see the memetic thing where uh, uh, Daesh is saying to the world we know the truth. They they usually have this kind of signal. This is God truth, and uh, and and they act upon it. Uh, uh, for me, it's like it's it's crazy. It's like they they try uh, uh, to fight everyone in all directions, and uh, eventually, I think within a year, uh, if uh, uh, Europe and uh, Russia and uh, the states will fight them, 
they will not have no oil and no bounty to continue uh, do it, and they uh, uh, will be much less affected. But this is not the case with the Palestinian people. Uh, they, they are not, well, they, they, some of them use the ideology that they, this is Arab uh, land and uh, we, the Jews come here and they need to go away. They, this, the, there is those ideas, of course, but uh, uh, for, for the Palestinians that born here, that live here, that have generation here, they, they're not gone away. And, and, and as uh, Nafil said, it's like we want our freedom, we want our chance to develop and evolve and, and, and uh, uh, within internet and all the knowledge that we have today, it's, it's the idea is access to them, but the practice is, is, is they, they cannot access the practice. And this is, I think, important step forward in Israel, and this is a very big difference than what we see in Daesh activity in its uh, world uh, fighting for ca uh, caliphate. Uh, I think uh, Palestinian eventually not fi uh, fighting for caliphate or uh, Hamas ideology, but uh, more of give us independence, let us live our lives, stop managing us and manipulating us, and, and, and hopefully we'll find some ways to, to go, go forward with that, I hope. Thank, oh, thank you, you very you. much. And yeah. I'm now very curious what Elsa has to say. And then there are comments afterwards, comments from our watchers, okay? Uh, I, I want to un unmute Natis. About my internet. Natis. Yes. About my internet, that my name is not uh, because yesterday the Palestinian Authority signed with the Israelis that the third generation of internet, they allowed the Palestinian just yesterday to use the third generation, a three giga and more. So for that, it is still not uh, efficient, but the coming time, you, I can write my name. So it's a technical <laughs> occupation. Very. <laughs> Okay, Nafis, let, 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 let's, uh, Nafis, let's think about the future. How can we build institutions in your own state? Think about the future. Uh, we we are looking. Uh, we are looking for two states. In okay. the occupation, in the occupation, it means we are building peace. But the people knowing there is no end for the occupation, I think it's the, 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 it being worse and, and worse the situation. Let's give the people, the young people, this generation, there is peace and the future coming and independence and the freedom. So it can help the people. But if there is no hope, the people, you cannot, you cannot convince them that to stop what uh, revenge, uh, resistance, uh, war, I don't know, I don't know how to call it, to name it, but, but that hope, it, it means that, yes, uh, yes, Elsa. Uh, let's talk about how we can build institutions in your own state. Uh, can you help the millennials build institutions? I think that uh, we should uh, build the bridges between the Palestinian and Israelis. And okay. this is not, there is no, no Palestinian leadership, Neri. There are Palestinians, you can call, you can speak with them, you can negotiate with them. They are liberal, they are, they are uh, uh, believing in peace. And in the Israeli side, there are Israelis the same. Not they are all radical settlers, uh, etc. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, uh, build bridges, and this means that uh, I think South Africa uh, the, the happened initiative between a group of Palestinians and a group of Israelis of negotiation of streets. Uh, in Tel Aviv, 40 Palestinians and 40 Israelis, they were, uh, they were negotiated in Tel Aviv. And they, they discussed some points in occupation, uh, no more settlements, etc. So this will raise the, the atmosphere of hope and the people believing that is something coming in the future. 
or just they are hearing pinnet and Uri Ariel and uh, I don't know others here all the time announcing the Palestinian confiscate more land throw uh, throw the Palestinian out etc so to hear another voice between the two people that because I, I know that the Israeli community society now is very fearful of any Palestinian even the Israelis is, is, is yani, they are afraid of anyone who like Palestinian Palestinian some of the, the Israelis they are Mediterranean and uh, they are similar to the Palestinian so I, I, I heard many stories about they face uh, problems now, they thought the now Abu Mazen's uh, leadership is, is known it's, it's, it's zero Uh, uh, Abu Mazen leadership uh, is uh, confiscating by the Israelis and he cannot do for the Palestinian okay. uh, something uh, here John, John Freeman is uh, the ISIS ideology affecting the Palestinians at all yes uh, the, the ISIS something please I, I would like to say it's a western uh, manufactured it's not Palestinian and many, even Sunnah, many Muslims were killed, Arabs killed by ISIS more than the others. Yeah. Uh, ISIS, ISIS, Daesh, this is uh, not uh, Arab, and it, uh, I think some, but very, very, very little influenced by Daesh, but most of the Palesti Palestinian not influenced by Daesh, they are against Daesh, they believe that Daesh something to destroy the Arab wars and to destroy the uh, image of the Arabs and the, the Muslims. Yeah, and we have another uh, comment here. Can I yes. mute you in just a moment? Uh, it's Doug Breitbart. Can Doug you read Breitbart, it? yes. Uh, we have a comment. It seems to me that the majority of folk on both sides of this divide are interested in peace. It is the violent reactionary and extremists in control of both populations as they fight with each other. I know there are many in Israel that do not believe in or support the right wing, the extreme right, uh, in control in Israel. And I assume there are many Palestinians who do not sanction their leadership's violence. <laughs> Perhaps the answer lies in figuring out how to put both authorities out of business courtesy of a bottom-up, <laughs> grassroots, united movement based on action and demonstration on a massive scale. Yeah, why don't we do that? 